Hey friends and family, what you are looking at is you are looking at the other stolen property that I located in Arkansas. And this property is where the current Hallelujah Scriptures was being stored and was being shipped from. This was bought on the backs of donations that they said they had no money. When they bought this house, they had $400,000 in their in their account. They paid $235,000 for this house. And there's going to be some things that you're going to see for those who have been following this video. Because this is how I actually found this house. Take a look at this. For those who remember this, look at this. Remember this? When they shipped out all those pictures and said all those people were sitting there shipping off Bibles? This is location. You don't find this paneling anywhere else. This is paneling that is special to a project and special to this. Now, this video is going to become a video that I need to put on to GoFundMe. Because now I have just been contacted by two families who were the families that were working here and they've been working here, I guess, since November. Now, it looks to me... Like they donated everything they had, this little family, they gave up everything they had to go and ship Bibles. And the Hallelujah Scriptures bought this house. And today, they were served with a notice of eviction. So there's two families that live there right now. One family that has three people. And one family that has five people. Two separate families, but they're all related. And they've been shipping Bibles out nonstop. Now this criminal company called the Hallelujah Scriptures that has been stealing donations, stealing money, hoarding the word of our Creator, has now made two families homeless. These people have given everything they had to ship the word of our Creator, and now this horrible company with a terrible heart is going and doing very great evil again. And so there's two families, and I don't want to expose them. They don't need to be named. They've already been beat enough. Anybody who is ever in the hands of Deborah Wessel, Deborah Weiss, Shalom Weiss, is beaten. They're abused. And these are the real victims of this entire Hallelujah Scripture scam. Because these people, the postal agents for the Hallelujah Scriptures, are all abused. They're all left homeless. They're all left with nothing. Guys, I am looking to see if there's a few people out there who will help me help them. Guys, you guys know I don't take donations on my site. There's no way to donate to my family. There's no way to donate. I don't take donations. We don't need donations. But my friends, this family does. When I heard about this today, and I got the story on this today, my heart is breaking again. And as believers of our Creator, we need to come together and we need to help these people. One of these families, I believe, can go into a, a bus. I'm trying to get each family $5,000 that they can both start over and do something and not be homeless. One of the families is thinking of going and having a tent down by the river with the, the, the four people. The other family lives in a, in a small van. They have a baby. The baby has special needs. The baby needs goat's milk. This family has been crushed by Deborah Weiss, Shalom Weiss of the Hallelujah Scriptures. This family is in need, guys. And I'm asking you and I'm begging you and I'm asking with everything possible if you guys will help me and you will tell, go to this GoFundMe site and you will help me help them. I have no idea. It was going to be days probably before they are completely homeless. At this point, they do not have the ability to buy more food. Deborah Weiss has cut them off from food and has not allowed them to eat. She has turned them into living slaves that she cuts off and abuses. They've just been evicted, my friends, and we need to help. Guys, please take a look at this GoFundMe. Take a look at the Messianic Hall of Shame. Take a look at the actions and the fruits of the Hallelujah Scriptures and let's stand for righteousness. Let's stand for families. Let's stand for goodness. And let's truly show that our hearts can bear fruit. And then we can help a couple of families out that really need us in a time such as this. 
Again, guys, you know I don't ask for donations. I never ask for any of this stuff. This is not about me. This is about other people. And if I could fund this entire thing myself, I would absolutely do this. But I will toss in. And I hope you guys will too. Much love to you guys. Many blessings to you all. I'm out.